So I really wasn't planning on doing another thrift haul this month, but I did end up going to the thrift the other day and I was like, ah, oh, my expectations are low. I don't really think they're going to have that much. Plus I just got all those sweaters. So either way, I'm good. I just want to look. So my expectations were honestly zero going in, but I ended up finding a lot. In fact, I had to put a lot of stuff back, you know, because I want to make conscious decisions about what I'm bringing in. But there were a ton of things that really excited me and a lot of great pieces. And of course, I did pick up a few. Uh, which is why we're doing a haul right now. But I am really excited about everything I got. They're all really great basic pieces, a lot of layering pieces, uh, absolutely perfect for fall time. And I'm very excited about everything and excited to share with you. Uh, so no point in talking in circles, let's get into it. We're gonna try the microphone on the shirt for this bit. But our first item is a top from Tommy Hilfiger Jeans. And it's this amazing white blouse with a kind of dramatic but sailor-esque collar to it with some sleeves to match. And it's just plain white and v-cut and there's been a couple pieces i've picked up recently that are like nautical so i don't know what's going on with that but i am kind of into like sailor-esque like silhouettes right now at least in my mind what like a pinup girl version of a sailor would wear and i'm talking like just kind of older retro aesthetics in general but this does have that kind of feel to it especially with the frayed edges but i don't think it's so over the top that it like feels like you're wearing a costume piece but instead it's just kind of dramatic and interesting and at first you might look at it and go oh it's just a white shirt but that neckline really does pull you in and none of this stuff is washed yet i'm gonna have to lay things out and try to get the wrinkles and creases and things out so keep that in mind and this was also priced at six dollars and nine cents it's a very specific price but overall it's a really high quality piece really solid basic but subversive basic so all together i think it's just going to be a nice piece to add to my closet and it'll be really great for styling layering under things tucking it in so there's a lot of versatility with that one i did realize the mic absolutely sucked in that last section so we're gonna try it here now i do want to make my audio quality better but i just have to work with what i have right now but i'm sorry for the inconsistent sound I'm sensitive to stuff like that too, so totally get it. But it is something I'm aware of, and there will be improvements made in the future. Also, I realized there's a Target bag here. This doesn't have to do with anything. <laughs> I just had all the clothes stored in this for now, because uh, I like to reuse bags and stuff. Those are just the ones that I had with me at the time, uh, so that's why that's there. But I appreciate you bearing with me while I try out different things. Uh, hopefully one day soon, I will have a camera and an actual mic, and the quality will be much better. But for now, we're doing things on the phone. So our second item is a mini dress that I'm really excited about. It's from a brand called Theme, and it was priced at $5.99. They have it listed as a blouse, but it's a dress, but it is mini and a little bit on the shorter side. And I'm very particular about the hem of dresses. And this is one I would totally feel comfortable wearing out. But it's this really cute kind of Y2K like little party girl dress. And it's this nice shiny fabric. It looks pretty like luxe and expensive in person. And then it has this bold hem at the bottom that I really like. And then on top of all of that, it has pockets. <laughs> it also has these sweet kind of little bubble sleeves to it. And it is a bit pleated in the front, but it's really cute. Definitely something I can wear out casually, but also really easily dress it up. Um, I could totally see that with a pair of heels, you know, and some sparkly tights or something for New Year's. Uh, but that's definitely going to get a lot of wear day to day for me. I am on the shorter side. Uh, I would be definitely considered petite, I think. I think the Tommy Hilfiger shirt was actually also petite, but it fits my proportions really well. And a lot of the time I just go longer on the hem because I feel more comfortable with that. The way I like dresses to fit is more loose and you usually don't find those kinds of dresses with like an actual cute, youthful, more sexy kind of hem without the dress being like totally bodycon and super revealing. So that dress is like a perfect balance for like my personal style and comfort. I feel hot in it, dare I say, <laughs> but I still feel comfortable wearing it. And there's nothing wrong with showing things off. It's just not something that I like to do. And I definitely feel much more comfortable when I'm, you know, covered. <laughs> but another really cute, basic, but also fancy and nice, uh, versatile piece that I can wear a ton of different ways. So I'm really excited about that one. Our next piece is a top from a brand called Allison Taylor. And this was $5.99. And it's a really simple, basic piece. But again, it's just really high quality, pretty fabric, really nice details. And just the construction of the garment is really nice. The black is much more solid in person it is kind of showing up a little like washed on the camera but it's got that nice construction in the back as well and then the bottom has that really cute like frilly detail that the sleeves have what originally drew my attention to it was it had this in the middle but this is very clearly someone's diy and i like it conceptually but it's very off center as you can see the like 
flower placements are not aligned and neither is the back of the pin. So I might fuck with this and see if I can reconstruct it to make it better. And maybe I'll reattach it to the shirt. Or I might go in the direction of picking up those cute little roses. Um, I think I saw someone get them at Michael's. Uh, this girl like thrift flipped a little slip dress and she put little these little rose pieces on. And I don't have a sewing machine or anything and my sewing skills are like bare minimum, but that is something I think I could manage. So you'll have to let me know what you think. Should we put the flower back in the middle or should we add a bow, ribbon, lace, or should we leave it as it is? I'm definitely leaning on the side of adding something, but as always, I really appreciate your opinions and everything. So let me know what you think about that. <laughs> so I don't even know how to show you this next piece, <laughs> but you'll see it in the try on, of course. I'm looking for the tag. Ah, uh, here it is. So this is actually Fredericks of Hollywood. It's like an old 90s lingerie brand, I think. But I see a lot of people go after this brand. So part of me was like, oh, like, <laughs> that's a good brand. I should get that. But of course, immediately I was drawn to the piece itself before I saw the label. But then the label was just like kind of confirmation, I guess, uh, that it was an interesting piece. And it's basically like a cover up slash cardigan. And it has these ties that close it. There's little loops on the side, um, but you can obviously wear it open too, but it's very, very dramatic. And it even has like this lace trim around the collar. And I have to figure out a way to flatten it. I think I read with lace and I don't know like what this material is because there's no care instructions on this. I'm imagining it was like a part of the set and was like removed from the set. But anyways, I'm not sure what the material is, so I don't know if it's safe to iron or what to do with it. So I'm just gonna wash it, carefully wash it, and then um, I read you could put books on it to flatten it out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do, because right now it's like, <laughs> it's like Count Dracula, which is cool. And honestly, I probably will use this <laughs> for like Halloween or doing themed photo shoots and stuff like that when I want like a gothic or Victorian edge to whatever I'm styling but I want this to be wearable for every day. So I have to figure out how to flatten this um, before I start wearing it out. But aside from that, <laughs> which is not like an issue with the garment itself, just how it was kept. Outside of that detail, it's a really cool piece, really unique. And again, I think it'll be really great for styling and layering and things like that. Did I say the price? It's $5.99. Next, we have another lacy top. And this is from Our Rogue. And this is for sure vintage. It's got the paper tag made in USA and this was also $5.99 and it's just a basic lacy t-shirt but it fits me pretty well. It is a little loose but that makes it actually more wearable, more comfortable for me because it's not this like ultra sexy piece since there's like some bagginess and movement to it. It's not like a lace shirt, you know, <laughs> which is cool but again this just makes me feel more secure and I could definitely tuck it into things, tie it up, wear it down. So that extra fabric kind of adds a little bit in terms of styling. But what I really like about it is that the lace pattern is a bit thicker and it has like all this mesh kind of fishnet detailing to it. But wearing it with a bra is like actually not that risque. And again, I love when people just wear bras with shit. <laughs> Hell no bra, I think that's cool too. The totally sheer, a totally nude look I think is awesome. But once again, <laughs> I am not there with my comfort levels, but this is a cool piece that lets me kind of step out of the box a little bit and perhaps style it in a little bit saucier of a way without it being like too much. But again, also great for layering, wearing it on top of things, wearing it under things. And I've been wanting just like a plain lace t-shirt for a while. I do have a lace blouse, uh, but the sleeves are like crazy dramatic on that. So this is a nice kind of in the middle, much more casual type of piece. Next, we have a top from a brand called Raffaella, and this was also $5.99. And it's just this little red t-shirt, but it has this wide kind of boat neck, that huge band across the top. Again, it's a little bit looser, so it does give me some room in terms of styling to wear it over things, tuck it into things. And I really love this neckline on myself personally, but earlier I did mention like nautical. <laughs> I do think this has kind of a sailor-esque look to it. And I'm not sure why. Kind of a retro mod vibe, if I'm making any sense at all. <laughs> it's kind of 1950s, but it feels more casual and more wearable than a lot of the styles then. And I'm going to say it again. <laughs> it's a basic, but it's a subversive basic where just that extra thoughtfulness and attention to detail really goes a long way. So it's like, yeah, it's a red t-shirt, but it's more than a red t-shirt. <laughs> and then my final item does not have a label on it, but it was $5.99 and... Oh, it's inside out. It is this gorgeous little baby doll top. 
the little lettuce trim and puff sleeves. And that trim carries throughout. And then the bottom is all nice and flowy. The silhouette of it is like a baby doll peplum sort of style. And it was a little big on me, but I was like, I have to make this work because look at it. What I ended up doing, I kind of cinched the extra fabric in the middle and just twisted it with the red velvet in front. So it actually kind of looked like a little rose when I did that. And then I just put an elastic on it and I kind of pulled the neckline from a scoop into more of a V or like a sweetheart neckline. So I might try to hand sew this, <laughs> but I'm scared. I might just put a safety pin in it or something to keep that position. But similarly to the other top, once I bring that neckline into that shape, I wonder if like a little rose or a ribbon would look good there. So you have to let me know. But playing around with it, it, it did look cute by itself um, without that added detail in there. But I also don't know if I want to permanently alter it. Just because it is bigger, I can kind of pull it in different directions and style it in more ways. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to think about it. But another really great layering piece. Um, very vampy, but very romantic. As this whole haul is really... Um, definitely have like a vampire-esque kind of vibe. <laughs> My Scorpio moon came out at the thrift, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I, I am a person that loves color, obviously. But sometimes I do forget that you need neutral basics. And those layering pieces can be just as important as like the big statement pieces in your closet. And the pieces that really stand out by themselves. And it's good to have things that complement that. So ultimately, I think everything I got is really, really versatile. Uh, very fall-esque. A bit goth, a little moody. And I'm really excited to style and wear everything. And have these pieces in my closet. So I hope you enjoyed this surprise little thrift haul. And you'll have to let me know which piece is your favorite. And I'd love to hear if you scored anything good at the thrift recently. But I appreciate you spending time on my videos. And as always, it means a lot to have you here. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!